Hey everyone, so at the moment I am a bit of an anxious ball of like excitement but mostly nerves. So today I handed in my notice at my job, which is super super scary for me. I'm a bit anxious because it's going to be the life of a freelance designer. A little bit different to what I'm used to, but it means maybe I can work on more personal projects in between and also have the really exciting opportunity of working with a company that I'm really excited about. I also got something cool in the mail from a patron, which is really nice. So it's this little like formal letter. This is like an artistic license. I don't know if you guys know the um, Stuart Semple stuff. You've probably seen it about, um, I've actually had some stuff on my channel where like, the glow in the dark paint yeah. or like the mirror paint, the unicorn paint, the world's black is black, stuff like that. So inside these letters, um, she gave me four, which is super generous, is an artistic license. Um, you can't use this code because I've already used it, so don't bother. But it's it's really cool. You get like £25 gift voucher kind of thing, but also like this artistic uh, license to carry around, which I have four of, but I think it's really cool. I can be like my artistic license here. I think it's a really cool prop and it's pretty fun. I think Stuart Semple's Culture Hustle, I think is the uh, name of the company. They do really cool stuff like that all the time. So it's nice. Recently I saw that he was selling like a vial of his blood and I was like, what's that for? And I was thinking about like when Casey Golden did her painting with blood and I was like, is it for painting? And it's no, it's just like a little vial of a necklace that you can have around your neck, which is really weird. <laughs> and I was like, mm, random. But yeah, so I'm thinking I'm just treating myself now because I'm just an anxious mess to like some stuff off of his website. Um, because I think in total I have about £100, which is so incredibly generous. Um, this is from Steph, so thanks a lot Steph, um, who shares my namesake. Um, it's really kind of you, you're already a patron, so you already completely support me, but yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's basically my heads up or my life update, which is a pretty big one for me. And I'm very, very anxious. Um, it's always hard to leave like a comfort zone, I think, which was definitely what I was in. I was in a comfort zone. So I think exciting things are ahead. Something cool, um, which is this tiger, which I've put into Photoshop and I've cleaned up and stuff. And I'm going to make him the monthly patron reward at night. <clears throat> Sorry, so we'd have my voice then. Anxious mess. Um, yeah, I quite like him. So there we go. Um, I think like all my patrons have already seen these sketches by the time that I'm showing you. Cause I update my patrons with like my rough sketches and stuff all the time, all the time. Well, when I ha have enough to show. And uh, yeah, so this is kind of what I've been working on. And well, I haven't had much chance cause I think as well my job which I'm now leaving has been quite stressful over the last month. It's been really busy. So I've come home really, really tired and not really like, not in the mindset to do anything. So hopefully that will change. Another exciting news is that me and Chris are working on a comic together and more of that to come probably in this vlog. But yeah, I'm gonna get on with uh, buying some stuff. Thanks again, Steph. Super kind. Wherever I 
go, it's the same There's no excuses, no one to blame Sometimes I can understand how it can be So hard to stay out of pain But with you everything has changed Even though we both stay the same straight to it like nope you ain't having this shot I might be a bit stressed out I just rearranged this whole like area to be sort of my studio because I don't have a spare room for a studio and like this area is sort of that um, space for me but it looks really bad and it doesn't really work so I'm gonna move everything back and yesterday we went to like this shopping mall and I think I definitely am going through like a quarter life crisis because I bought this hat. What am I thinking? Why did I buy this? Don't know. Couldn't say. Bought it, thought it looked cool. I was like, yeah, this is this is it. This is my look now. And where who am I and what am I thinking? <laughs> so if anyone who wants a grey bucket hat. Um, I also bought this like massive sketchbook from Tiger and it lays flat which is kind of cool I think it will be good for markers and like not water or anything um, yeah I think it's kind of cool so that was a good purchase bad purchase also a bad decision to rearrange my whole flat and then realize that it doesn't work so I'm gonna move everything back to where it was and just try to get more space. I'm trying to get more space because basically I've got like a freelance contract that I'm starting on the 20th. Um, and I want to like set up the iMac because I think like, because I have an old iMac that is like barely works and I much prefer it for like design work. Um, when I'm using the PC, the Windows PC for design work, it's like, it do it just doesn't like, the experience is much worse um i don't know how to describe it other than that like if you know you know kind of like shortcuts are different um it runs differently when you drag stuff it doesn't really like connect it or it's like weird um so i want to use the imac for that stuff and i need space for it obviously and my desk cannot fit that so i'm trying to figure out something i'm sorry for this massive explanation like no one asked the bucket hat and now this explanation Anyway, basically, I am just really scared and um, I think it's taking a lot of guts to like go freelance. I'm also thinking, <laughs> all that cat, whatever happened there. Um, I'm also thinking of like redoing my book that I wrote a while ago, but like instead of, because it was a trilogy originally and I think I'm just going to release it as like one big massive book because I just I got disheartened by it because when I first released it um, I got like a couple of like two star reviews and it really really hurt me so I was like I'm never doing this again I'm not a writer I'm, I'm terrible but then I think like doing the comics has really like boosted my confidence with writing a little bit because I think people l well have genuinely liked them so I think I'm just gonna release it as one whole book I think my problem was releasing it trying to like section it up into a trilogy just it didn't make sense so I think maybe the ending of the first book was a bit bare because it was like it's not really a whole book it was anyway I'm over talking so I want to release that and maybe I'll just release it for like on Amazon for like two dollars each 
um, copy so then people can just get it and I'll just do it for myself basically so yeah I think I'm gonna do that as well and patron stuff I'm constantly working on and also orders for the comic I have oh, sorry that's Chris Boyings noise I have sold out of Emily is burning so I need to reorder some of that but I don't think I can afford it right now and me and Chris are also working on a comic which I really want to just get going on and um, it's a bit of a different approach because I'm working with Chris whereas like before it would just be myself so I could just go for it like I'm um, I mean it's difficult to just go for it anyway I mean before the comics my horror comics before it took ages to like get started on so yeah that's where I'm at and um mm -hmm. pretty scared would really like your support guys in any way that you can if you could just watch videos or comment or like just give me a you can do it girl because you can do it girl that's the bucket hat me talking but you know what I mean I'm just pretty worried um doing freelance but yeah that's it that's the the where I'm at so this is the final setup I think, it works much better, it's much more clean, um, down there we can use as our dining room still, so it made more sense, it was just like a big mess down there. I still have so much stuff to sort out on this table, but that's a problem for later because now I need to eat some lunch and uh, then I need to package up some, some patron and, well not package up, I need to sort out some patron stuff. And yeah, that's my Sunday, and tomorrow I'm back at work, and I've only got eight days left. Hey guys, so it is Monday night, and Chris has been drawing some cats characters for our comic. So it has the working title, Gem Cats. Oh no, Cat Gems. And uh, we're not sure if that's, you know, we need to think of a better title than that, because it's like a bit me. It's a little on the nose, but it's basically about like these mining cats. That's going to be the basis of the story. And uh, yeah, I really like this one. Well, the main character. She's kind of cool. Um, and here's some inspiration as well for the characters, I think. Some stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to like write the script and Chris is going to design the characters and then we're going to work on the backgrounds together. I think I'm doing the thumbnails or we'll do the thumbnails together then Chris is going to do the rough pages and then we're going to do the line work and the colouring together probably we haven't really figured it out it's kind of the first time we're doing this so we need to work out how to like work together properly but it will be cool I think it's going to be really interesting I printed out I printed out the like the script so far um, and we just went through it so it's only like a couple of pages um, right now it's not really that interesting it's just setting up everything with the characters and the universe and then we've got some characters here so what I've done is like I always do with my comic script is I write page one and then I use the entire page for that dedicated page so panel one so I write all the panels down and then I like to like do a little thumbnail sketch of what that page layout will look like and yeah so I'm kind of working out all the panels and then we'll do so we'll sort of do the thumbnails together but yeah it's kind of coming together which is interesting
have your six character button. Hit section of BA.com. Where if you're flying an alternative. I've just come home from work and I started watching um, Jersey Shore Reunion and there's this episode where one of them is getting engaged and I was like <laughs> I'm like why am I like this? Why am I getting teary eyed over Jersey Shore? I think it's another send help moment. Anyway today I was also crying because I had to buy a new mouse for my iMac basically so expensive um, but I needed it because it just I really like doing creative work on the iMac it just makes everything easier it's what I'm used to with Photoshop and everything even though I don't want to use Photoshop but like I'm gonna have to for a little bit worst design in the world where you have to remember to charge your mouse otherwise you can't use it I think this is the most stupid design that um, has ever come from Apple but I love the magic mouse I love the trackpad and stuff that you can get on it and the like the ways you can use it it's just this is so dumb <laughs> okay anyway there you go there's my mini unboxing beautiful wasn't it And um, had my final day at work, which was like a bit sad and a bit weird, but I feel like I've made the right decision and I feel really happy right now. So yay, I'm a little bit tired, I'm a little bit drained. Yeah, I was thinking I'm gonna dye my hair because my hair is like blonde, but it's kind of gone quite dark during lockdown because I think I was inside more than I was ever and it hasn't just it hasn't like brightened up at all since then so I'm thinking I'm gonna dye my hair a bit lighter and then possibly dye it like a hint of pink could look really awful but you know what we're doing the midlife crisis thing and we're going for full on with it so we might as well double down on it quit a job dye our hair buy a bucket hat this happened and um, not sure if I regret it or not the saga of the hair continues I'm seriously not sure if I'm making it worse or better but I tried to dye it pink and it came out blonder what what's happening there like what it it's super patchy um, but you can sort of hide it if you like do this so not like the worst so I guess that's my hair now um, thanks for watching the vlog I'm gonna end it here because um, I'm pretty sure that I don't really have anything else interesting to show you guys for a while but yeah uh, wish me luck in my new job on Monday and uh, see you guys next time my new freelance job I should add but yeah I'm excited so I'm like crouching I'm like Neh. okay uh, bye